Everybody, welcome back to the Swedish King of the North Achievement Run. This is part 26. In the last episode, we've taken quite a beating as we have declared war in Bohemia, and we're barely able to pull the war together. Of course, we didn't have enough manpower to wage war, but we decided to wage war anyways. But um, the good news is that we released the Palatinate, which is a very small, uh, I guess, country over here. And uh, another another event is that we've actually formed Scandinavia and passed two Imperial reforms in the last episode. We are 10 Imperial Integrity away from revoking the Privilegia. Uh, this is really, really good. This will make all of the Holy Roman Empire uh, our vassal, except for, of course, the big states like Bohemia and Austria and maybe Lorraine. Uh, we will be going to war with um, some of the, uh, I guess, states that have unlawful territory so we can increase the amount of princes in the Holy Roman Empire. Uh, but first, we have to work on our manpower. We have basically no manpower at this point. Um, we're also working on colonizing the New World. Of course, we see um, some inroads from Holland with their colony Nova Hollandia. We need to make sure this doesn't get too big and out of control because it already seems like it's expanding at quite the rapid rate here. Um, didn't even notice, honestly, at the time. Uh, but in the good news, uh, let's see, Portuguese colonies are now independent, like Louisiana and Haiti, because Spain has completely annexed Portugal and kicked Portugal off of the Iberian Peninsula. Uh, besides that, nothing really new to report. Of course, we do have some new territories in the last episode, like uh, the Western Isles and Shetland, we've taken from the Scottish. Of course, we can use this as a springboard into England if we so choose to do so. At this point in time, I don't really think it's necessary. So without further ado, let's continue where we left off. Um, I am going to be declaring war on the two territories here, Ravensburg and Würzburg. First on Würzburg, as they control Mons. Um, they are allied with Poland, Bavaria, and Cologne, and this is fine because Cologne also has territories that we can knock out of them. But the problem is that they're allied with Poland, so I've taken it upon myself to start fabricating claims on Poland, and once those claims are done, we will declare war. So without further ado, let's continue right where we left off. Um, this will be a very nice episode for you guys today, so let's go ahead and continue uh, immediately where we are here. And I have to say, I don't really like the flag of Scandinavia. Uh, I much prefer the uh, Swedish flag, but it is what it is. Uh, we, we'll take what we can get. So immediately we're going to fabricate more claims on the Golden Horde. This is necessary for a few reasons. First of all, because once our uh, truce is expired with them, which will be in about seven years, we're going to annex all of this territory to make our country bigger so that the chance of us inheriting Lithuania in 1646 is even higher as it takes into account the, the size and, I guess, military of our empire. So right now, we are just um, working on increasing our manpower. Of course, our manpower is far, far, far behind. In fact, let's go ahead and decide to make training fields in some of these provinces here. Now that we are Scandinavia, we get the full effect of the accepted cultural threshold of Danish and Norwegian. So that's great. We're just going to do it like that. Fantastic, this will give us more manpower, and that's what we really, really need anyways. Uh, we lost some great advisors, that's okay, no problem. Missionary activities, let's see. We'll gain some unrest, it's not a big deal. Nuremberg, we've got a mission with, actually, to improve our relations with them. Where is Nuremberg? Nuremberg, or maybe it's Mimignan, let me check real quick. It's Nuremberg. Nuremberg is going to be somewhere over here. You know, I'm just lazy, so let's just go ahead and check it from here. Um, Nuremberg is right here. Let's go ahead and bestow Imperial Grace upon them. This will give us even more Imperial uh, authority. So we're going to take... Um, Narva is not really important, we don't care. Bestow Imperial Grace upon them, which is going to give us more Imperial authority. We are almost at 50 Imperial authority, and we could probably revoke the privilege yet very soon. Uh, however, like I said, I want to... Uh, beat out some of these smaller states from Würzburg and the like. Um, no mission selected, that's fine. Ooh, that's tempting to take, but I'm not sure if the Casas Belli is going to last that long, so I don't really quite want to do that. Instead, let's take the naval race against the Ottomans. Uh, we could probably, we're more equipped to do that. So immediately we're going to go hire some more caravels, just like so. I don't want to hire too many of them because we'll go over our force limit, but that should be fine. And let's go ahead and demand unlawful territory from both of these guys. This will give us Casas Belli, which is good. And our colony over here in Khan 
is completed, we need to work our way to the east. So let's go ahead and continue in that direction. Also calling it the progress. We'll get there on the 21st of September, I need to remember. Um, right, so another diplomat, we can go ahead and demand even more unlawful territory, this time from Ravensburg. Of course they'll say no, but that's okay. We now have a Casas Belli, and we can hire a better military leader, as our military leaders are god-awful. This guy is just basically standard, but he's, he's decent. Uh, we got a free diplomat now, which means that we can go ahead and perhaps increase relations with her. Or fabricate claims, even, on somebody in particular. Maybe even these native tribes over here. I don't want these guys to be um, a protectorate of Spain. In fact, why don't we go ahead and send a colony over here in Merrimack, just so that this way we can make claims on these territories over here and declare war on them that way. We don't have any cost of on them right now, so we need to work on that. Um, hmm. What if we were to do it like this? That should be fine. It'll take a little while for us to get there, but that's okay. While we discover Siberia, it's a good, uh, I guess, uh, management of our time. Let's go ahead now and fabricate more claims of Bukhara. I think they're allied with the Golden Hordes, so we're going to be at war with them anyways in the future. Uh, we'll take Naram, or Nadim. Naram? These are all named so similarly. Yeah, Naram, so we can clean up our borders. Um, Scandinavia is massive. We've got a massive, massive, massive empire, and it's going to only get bigger in the future once we start taking Polish territory and the like. Of course, we need to work on improving our manpower situation here. And once it's maybe even at half capacity, we can declare war. Like I said, I don't want my, uh, you know, Casas Belli to expire. And now that the Empire is at peace, we are getting Imperial Integrity at a relatively fast rate as well, so that's nice. Um, going now to Poland, we are going to claim maybe another province, and then be either Nodic or Ostrada. Let's do Ostrada. Probably claim on them, Strata, and then afterwards we'll do Nodic, and then we can declare war. That should give us enough time to recover our manpower. Let's go now over to our colonists over here in So Sokoki. So I think how I pronounce this. We're gonna go ahead and send them over here. Or nope, sorry, that's Sokoki is over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that immediately. We gained another core province. Fantastic. Let's go now over to our explorers, which are over here. Oh, we don't have, turns out we don't have a conquistador. Oh, well, that sucks. Um, let's go ahead and make one. And he's way better than the other guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and boot, um, what's his face? This guy over here. He's not as good. He's a, he's a sprinter, but he's not a very good leader. So just like so, we make Christian Horn the leader. And then we boot the shitty guy who's only good at running. Uh, right, so now we are going to explore Siberian Wastes. Uh, relatively slowly, but we'll get there eventually. We got a new diplomat, which is nice. This means we can fabricate more claims, I guess, on... Oh, right, we are going to fabricate claims on the New World over here. Mohicans, perhaps, the last Mohicans. Um, our training fields are up now, which means our manpower is going to increase quite a bit, which is fantastic. And this also means we can fabricate claims on Mohican. We're going to do that right away. This way we can bring in a war against those guys over there. I'm just trying to make sure if they are not westernized yet. I know they've been bordering us for a while, or at least they're close to bordering us. They are not westernized. That'll make it much easier for us to kill them. Um, let's go now to take missionary strength, just because I know I have a few provinces that are a bit strong uh, for me to take, like the Western Isles, which is in fact a center of reformation. So we're going to take that. And what else are we going to do here? I'm going to make sure that these guys are still moving. They're going to get there on the 21st of June. Got to micromanage the crap out of this empire, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So they're there now. Uh, Ever Eastwards is the name of the game. We will, of course, be colonizing the Siberian land here in a minute. But just not quite yet. Let's see now. Uh, it'll take them the 5th of September, so we'll keep an eye on that. Our men are regrouping over here in the north of the Holy Roman Empire. And we can convert more territory, so we're going to go ahead and do so. Our navy is growing just a little bit, but that's good. We got a new heavy ship and some light ships to boot. Uh, another claim against Bukhara is up and running. Let's take a look at our tech. Uh, we don't have any points to spare, I guess, on anybody like uh, you know the tech groups or anything like that. So right, so right away we are going to fabricate even more claims on the Golden Horde. Like I said, our Truce with them will expire in 1645, so we need to be ready for that. 
to double check our overextension at zero and our stability is three, we are good to go, honestly. We've got a pretty good setup going on over here. Native uh, simulation so cocky, fantastic. Pretty soon our colony in Canada will also be done, which is fantastic news for us. Um, hmm. We could send more colonists over here into the New Worlds, but I need to expand into Siberia so we can take out Japan. Hmm, what should I do? I could, you know what, why don't we connect Oscarland together, because we're going to need, they're going to have a problem here getting men back and forth over here. So we could colonize Nipnook. Hmm, or actually no, it's not a part of my empire. Never mind, that makes it a lot easier for me. So let's go ahead and abandon these guys over here. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I thought I had a colonist over there. This is the third time this has happened to me. Um, this is just completely embarrassing. Uh, so we're gonna have to send back a unit over there. Wow, guys, that is uh, that's really stupid. You know, if I was if I was down to, tr to trade or uh, save scum, in fact, if I wasn't recording this right now, I would just go back and uh, you know reload. But you know, I I have more integrity than that, so I'm not gonna do that to you guys today. But God, that is so stupid. This is not the first time I've done this. Uh, in fact, this has happened in the past before, but it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> but when it does, I uh, I really hate myself quite a bit. But uh, you know, it is what it is. We can't do anything about it, so it's done. What's done is done. We'll send uh, more settlers over that way. We can fabricate more claims on Poland, and we will do so. We'll fabricate a Nodic. We'll take all of these juicy provinces once they're called into war against us. And what else should we take? We should probably also take this guy over here. Um, our manpower is almost regained, which is good. We've gained we've gained a uh, Casa Spell against Congo. That's a bit weird. And now we've got a Casa Spell against Mohican. We will declare war on them. Uh, that will be no problem over there. Let's see. Uh, military access from Nova Hollandia. Hell no. We're not going to give that to you. Why would we ever do that? Some culture conversions that are about to come into effect. We're going to take admin power, that is way more important, as we are so far behind in admin power. And let's go ahead and opt for war against the Mohicans. Uh, they are currently at war with Netherlands and Nova Hollandia, so we need to beat them to the punch. Uh, they are allied with Iroquois and Powhatan. We're going to take them out. Uh, where is Powhatan, by the way? Powhatan's over here, uh, so that must be what the Dutch are working on. So immediately we're going to declare war on them, because they suck. And we are going to bring in, I guess, our, our colonial governments. We'll take Penanok, or Penacook, I guess is how you say it. And our other colony is going to get there pretty soon. Uh, I can't believe I abandoned it. That's so embarrassing. But it is what it is. So right away, uh, we could potentially, uh, you know, attack, I guess. We don't really have a lot of settlers over here. Um, hmm. Tell you what, let's, let's go ahead and do this. This will make more sense. We can divide it like this. Change some cultures, okay, that's no problem. I believe that was in, uh, I want to say, my Sami provinces that I never that I said I would never conquer or change, but I did. Um, right, so our colonial governments are going to right away uh, help us take out some of these territories. We got a new diplomat up and running. We are going to fabricate more claims this time. Well, I was going to do Bukhara, but I don't really need to. Let's go ahead and, well, Vukara. We could we could take some of these provinces, I guess. They're a little bit big. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Why not? We'll fabricate a claim on Nadim. And I was thinking in the future we might want to take out Ming as well. Ming, of course, is massive. And we're actually coming into contact with Mongolia now. That's interesting. Uh, but we're still exploring. Look at them, the 23rd of December. All of our boats out here, I think, are ready to join the main fleet. Let's go ahead and do so. Join them all together. You guys are going to go trade in Lubick. Five heavies, 98 lights. That's quite a bit. So, uh, in Europe, we're just about ready to declare war, I guess. Uh, most of our men are back up and operational. Of course, we are going to fabricate more claims on the Golden Horde, as we always do, and we'll take university. Now we can build universities, thank God. Um, this will let us establish Sunday schools, which increases our missionary strength, that's fine. And Merton, absolutely, let's take universities. Uh, can we still take them over here? We can. Local development costs would go down, let's definitely do that in Stockholm, uh, as that is the place that we are, um, 
you know, developing the most. So training fields, this is way more important than the land forest limit modifier. Uh, we're going to have lots of land forest limit modifiers, so we don't care. Instead, we really want to take uh, as much as we can with the barracks and everything else. That's fine, just like so. And let's continue where we left off. Of course, over here, we are still taking out some of their territory. We're doing a pretty good job at it. Um, Mick, Big Nook decided not to join in on the war, unfortunately, but it is what it is. In fact, this is on the Gulf of St. Lawrence trade nodes, so they might be a little bit disparate in their territory, but that's okay. We're not too worried about that. So let's go ahead and convert the rest of our provinces here. And uh, we'll go ahead and do that. We just got a very nice uh, mission, National Unrest, negative two. That's fantastic. Um, and what else are we going to do here? So we're taking their territory. That's done. It's taken care of. Let's go ahead now and take over the Iroquois and go into the east where we are about to uh, prepare for war against Ravensburg. Or maybe not Ravensburg, maybe Wurzburg. They're now allied with a lot more people, but that's okay. We don't really mind. Uh, hopefully the fact that we are allied with Nimbian, it will prevent them from uh, joining the war, but I doubt it. So again, this will be a good opportunity for us to beat the crap out of the, uh, I guess, the Holy Roman Empire. We're going to free up a lot of member states. And the final territory that we're going to claim is over here. Because once we uh, inherit Lithuania, we want this border to look nice and pretty as possible. So we're going to go ahead and immediately do that. And our manpower is almost completely back up to normal, which is good, good, good news. Going back over here to the New Worlds, um, we are destroying, absolutely destroying the army against us, which is good news. And look at Spain! Spain is just pooping out colonies! This is crazy. I've never seen anybody expand this fast. This is really bad news. Um, really, really bad news. I don't want to be at war with Spain, but it might have to, you know, we might have to do so. Um, again, over here on the trade nodes, uh, if this belongs to Ohio, I don't think we can core it because it won't be a part of Oscarland, which is just really annoying. So, okay, the ruler of Hungary has died without leaving a direct heir. They will join in a union with Poland unless we can test it. If we can test it, we will create a succession war over Hungary. Hmm. Do we want Hungary to be a part of our empire? We could, I suppose. Who is Poland allied with? Celestia and Wurzburg. You know what? Let's totally do this. Let's go to war. Um, we want to we want to contest this if we can get Hungary in a personal union below us that would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go to war. Let's let's finish the job. Let's go to war. My Duke, Scandinavia has gone to war with Poland. Scandinavia thrown. This could be a long and bloody struggle. Well, it probably won't be considering we have such a major amount of. Uh, I guess superiority in the military over here. So let's go ahead and immediately send our more talented uh, members of our army over here to the east. And we'll go ahead and pull this guy back. Um, maybe even colonize some territory as well. But we'll wait, actually. This is enough territory for us to see for now. So Christian Horn, you are going to be sacked, and we are going to send you over here to the western front, where we are going to make some inroads in to Poland. This should be fun. Let's see who joins Poland. Nobody really interesting. Uh, we should have no problem here. In fact, wait, why don't we go ahead and call our, our allies into the war as well. Um, we do have several allies I think we can count on, like Mim and Yin. You guys want to join our war? No? Okay. Well, suit yourself. Uh, nobody else is going to join the war either, so that's okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and take out Poland. This is going to be fun. Um, immediately, we're going to go ahead and send out men to the border regions, just like that. And we're micromanaging two different fronts at the same time. We should have no problem, though, because the New World fronts are going to be really easy to take out. I'm not too worried about that. And let's go back over here to the Old World, where it's way more important that we take out Poland and perhaps create a succession over um, Hungary for ourselves. I've actually never done it so that we can take our own, but I think that that's how it works. If you're lucky enough, um, you can actually get the succession if you win, I think. I think that's how it works. So immediately we're going to go ahead and set out on taking all of these provinces on the border regions. And we're doing so well that we actually are gaining more men even at war, which is really good news. Um, we're going to keep you there. We're just going to go ahead and start attacking the border regions, ensuring that we have a line of supply to reinforce if necessary. 
Uh, we're at War Celestia as well, it seems. And Wurzburg, which is good. Now we can go ahead and take out Wurzburg as well. Um, in the west, we have taken the Iroquois capital. So we can go ahead now and take the rest of their territory. Most of it, I think, is within the Gulf of the St. Lawrence trade node, so it will go to Vinland. But that's okay, we don't really mind. No problem there. Um, let's go back over to the east here in a minute. And look at this. The Netherlands is occupied by Mohican. This could be good news for us. If they have any cores in the area, I'm not sure if they do. But if they do, that could be pretty cool. Uh, again, we are absolutely destroying Poland. Uh, and we even have some claims in them too, which is really cool. We take all this territory, so we're going we're gonna to save our admin power now, just in case. And we have to wait until the forts are taken. We're taking Cayuga, that's great. Are we at war with anybody else in the New World? Powhatan, but they're very far away. We don't really care about them too much, so we are not going to raise a weapon against them. But over here in Poland, we're doing pretty well. Um, still moving ever onwards towards t taking out their border territories. Uh, we're doing a pretty damn good job at it too, I must say. Um, now that we have a free diplomat, we can go ahead and fabricate on the other guys that did not uh, go to war with us. Micmac, we need them as well. So, gonna fabricate claims on them, just like so. And pretty soon we can go to peace with the natives. I don't really think they're gonna bother us too much. So we're going to go over here to the old world, where we've taken, I think, the next castle so we can move onwards, or maybe not. We haven't actually taken it quite yet, so we have to wait. And a peace offer from the Iroquois. We're not going to accept that. We've taken Wizna. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and move on to the next fort. In fact, actually, let's keep it here. We need to make sure that we are in good mind, because Celestia and Poland have a very big force in Lithuania. We need to make sure that we can reinforce our men if necessary. So we are trying to take down the forts. We've taken Mohawk, so it's ready to make, we're ready to make peace with these guys over here. We're going to take all of their territories if we can. It's occupied by the Netherlands. Are you serious? That's so annoying. Well, it is what it is. We can't do anything about that. So let's go ahead and take what we can. Just like so. We'll take the rest of the Sasquanak territories later on. That's fine. Um, hmm. Take war reparations and some money as well. They're really rich, these Native Americans. I have no idea why. Uh, and once we get that, that fabricated claim up, which will be pretty soon, we can go ahead and declare on the next ones. So, Oscarland, I believe, might be able to core these territories. I certainly hope they can. Because um, if they can't, we're going to get quite a rebel problem here. So we've got another free diplomat. What are we going to do with the free diplomat? Let's go ahead and perhaps... Um, hmm, what can we do with the free diplomat? Let's increase our relations with Lithuania. Make sure it's topped out, as I believe this affects our chance to inherit their country. Um, good, 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 good. We're still taking out the Polish forts, as we were earlier. But the war is going very well for us, so I'm not too concerned. Um, they're actually going to launch an attack into Nodic. I have no idea why. We can, of course, reinforce them, so that's not a problem. I have no idea why they wanted to do that, but they did. And Carl is going to also reinforce them in. Now, I believe we are going to win this war, at least we should. But the war looks a bit indecisive for the time being. So we need to make sure that we send everybody into the war that can be sent in. I believe we're going to win, but it's going to be close. We've just taken another fort, which is good. Close, close, close war, but we were able to, I believe, pull ahead in the last minute. So that's good. Fantastic. Uh, no leaders going to go over here. These guys are going to go over here, because I believe that this is where Carl is needed to go. And these guys are going to go down south, and you guys are going to go over here. So by and by, we did a pretty good job of taking their territory. I'm not really worried about it. We can even fabricate, or rather, core more provinces over here. And once we are done fabricating in the New World, we can go ahead and set up a colony as well, so that's nice. And here we are in Poland, taking out more and more territory. Well, that's great. We've taken Chelmno. No surprise there. On to Wizna, which we will take out very, very soon. We are just taking out all sorts of provinces here. Um, going to keep our men kind of together here as they regroup their manpower. That'll be important later on in the war. 
So we need to make sure that they are able to have supply lines, which they are. So we're going to keep it steady. Um, we are going to opt for the reduced trade power. That's fine, not a big deal. Nobody cares. Um, our claims on Poland are almost going up. We've lost the Battle of Poznan. I wasn't even paying attention, but we've lost over there. Um, we need to go ahead and send out some units to take back the territory, if we can. Um, sorry guys, I didn't notice. <laughs> Since the Reformation disappears, that is what we like to hear. Thank God. Um, again, we are trying to take out the Polish armies here. We do have more men in total, if they chose to join us, which they aren't. Um, and here we go, we're sending more, yet more men into the fray. We should be able to turn this around, which we just did. Fantastic. Another free diplomat, which means that we can fabricate more claims in the Golden Horde, which is actually being taken out by Crimea right now. So we might actually even take out the Crimea, if that is the owner of the province once we are there. Um, we've won the Battle of Pluck, that's fine, and Poznan as well. So Carl is strong, we're going to keep him over there. We're going to keep the weaker guys uh, in the other territories to heal up their men and manpower. But so far, so good. We're in a pretty good position. Um, by and by. I believe we might have even lost a, uh, an army, <laughs> which I'm laughing about. It's pretty sad, but I think we did. Oh no, it's over here. We're okay. It's all good. It's all accounted for. We are going to heal them up and then send them in. It's like the admin power. We have a claim on Mi'kmaq, which means we can go ahead and send our men into the fray, which we will here just in a minute. Keeping our men here to heal up as per the usual. Uh, I would like to go ahead and take out Wizna and Warsaw if we can do so. So let's go ahead and send our men in that way. And Lithuania is done. We don't need to improve our relations with them anymore. So a very big force outside of Warsaw is right here. Uh, we need to prevent that from ever becoming a reality here. I think they're probably going to make a move on Poznan. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but we need to be ready for really any event uh, that's going to happen here. We got a free diplomat, which means that we can make more war with the natives. Of course, the Netherlands are still attacking the Mohicans. I have no idea why, but they are. And Oscarland cannot core any of this territory, I don't think. Uh, they think they're trying to, but they can't, which is unfortunate. But once we connect it to the rest of their land, I think they'll be able to. In fact, we've got a colony here again, so that should be a problem. So let's go ahead and declare war on Micmac uh, right away. They'll bring in the Iroquois again, with Sasquanak again, but we're not too worried. This won't be much of a problem. We should just destroy them like we did in the last episode. Um, their newly acquired territory has a little bit of unrest, but it's something that they can't handle, so we're not too worried about that. Let's go immediately over to the east, where they are sending men to Notik, which is bad for us, because we've got a very small force there. They'll get there on the 29th, so we need to immediately uh, reinforce them as fast as we can. Um, hmm. Will they cross a river? They won't. Well, that's bad news. Let's see if we can just go ahead and... Yes, we can. Okay, so we can get them out of there before that happens. That's good. I'm just making sure that we are in a good position here. So they're going to attack Chelmno. Uh, we'll be ready to take it for ourselves here in a minute. Just like so. Okay, they've opted not to do anything. In fact, they are just attacking the territory. And now, here they go. They are going to attack um, Poznan, which has a very small force. They're going to get there on the 6th of February. Can we beat them? We can't, but we can try to. We've got a new uh, technology that we can embellish, or that we can uh, achieve here. And immediately, we're going to send back our men as fast as we can into the fray here. We should be able to beat them back with no problems. We've got a free diplomat now, which means we can fabricate more claims on, I guess, Bukhara this time, on Bukhara itself, I guess. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, what is this province? This is Damkudik. So we can take them. And going to the west, uh, we are doing a pretty good job with the native territories here. Uh, no worries over there. We're doing a pretty good job. Let's go back over here to the east, where we are still at war with the Hungarians and the Polish native assimilation, that's great. Their manpower is just incredible. I'm trying to beat them back, but it's hard uh, to do so. 
So we've won the Battle of Poznan once again. Let's go ahead and keep the healthier guys and send them out. The, the less healthy guys can be the ones that siege, and the least healthy guys can go ahead and rest up back at home. So we'll do it like that, that's fine. This should be good. We have taken Scandinavia, or Wilza I should say. On to the next one. We are going to attack Warsaw proper now. That is the goal, I guess, of this war. Let's go now over to the New World, where we are still working on taking their territory. Fantastic. Going back, we are just juggling back and forth, aren't we guys? I told you this is going to be a good episode, and it is. Uh, we've won the Battle of Warsaw, which is fantastic. We're going to keep their men right there. And we could even just go ahead and, dis and stack wipe the Hungarians and the Polish, uh, but we're not going to. We'll do that later. So we've taken Poznan, that's great. Let's go ahead and take out Krakow, which I think might even be the capital. It's not, but it might as well could be. Krakow will fall. And actually, let's go ahead and make sure that we have some men to defend Warsaw if necessary. That's important. We've won the Battle of Krakow, fantastic. On to the next one. Uh, looks like we can't send any men there, but we can send men there, but they'd have to go through Lithuania. Tell you what, why don't we just go ahead and send these guys into Warsaw, and then from Warsaw we can get them to attack the Hungarian and Polish and Lithuanian territory. Kind of kick them out, so to speak. So these guys are going to go there. These guys are actually, no, we're going we're gonna to make them wait, just like so. Now they're pretty much stuck. Which is nice. Uh, more conversions that are going swimmingly. Our alarm just went off, so we should go ahead and end the episode. Uh, again, our diplomats are in a very good position over here in the New World as well, where we are absolutely destroying the natives. Uh, it is genocide. But it's okay, we're doing a pretty good job. Um, let's see, Oscarland has not yet made this their territory, but they will once we get a land bridge up and running. I'm just a bit worried about Spain, so we need to cut off Spain before it gets too powerful. And this region, of course, Nova Hollandia is also uh, expanding quite fast and rapidly, but I'm not too worried about them either. So again, guys, yeah, thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we will beat back the Polish and take out um, Wurzburg's, I guess, uh, little uh, member states, make it a bit bigger, and Cilicia as well, if we can break it down into any, any more territories. I don't think we can, but it might be cool if we could. We can't. But, okay, so stay tuned for the next episode. Again, it'll be out very soon, so I will see you guys soon.